Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Punisher's Paintball. This is Media Guy Doug here with Daddy Joel. We are going to bring you a comparison between the GTEC 180R and the new, hot, wonderful Shocker Era, or the Era as I keep liking to call it. So yeah, we're going to go toe to toe every point that we can find here guys. Joel's going to pull up our little, uh, our little listing that we like to kind of keep on track with and then we're going to shoot them at the end and give you our best opinions and just total up the scores and see which marker is better. So, if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe actually click like feel free to leave a comment have a conversation with us start a fight do whatever you want and when you're done watching make sure to check the link in the description and pick up either one of these from punisher's paintball we'll see you after the intro Always catching you Doug, off Doug always trying to start <laughs> shit. Doug always trying to start shit. All right, guys, okay. so we're here with probably uh, two of the most anticipated uh, mid-level markers that there is out besides, obviously, the DSR Plus. But mm -hmm. um, So we got the Shocker Era. We've got the GTEC 180R. We're here to do, finally give you our comparison video on the two. This, I think, is one of the more anticipated ones. I'm not sure which video is going to be more popular, this or the one with the DSR Plus. Like, That's a good like, question. <clears throat> the, the, this space, is this mid-range gun space I think is super competitive so I'm yeah, curious to see how this will do in the next calendar year so sure. without any further ado packaging Planet Eclipse correct Planet Eclipse. I mean, do we, <laughs> we should we, we should there's, the there's video. nothing we'll that's through. changed from the shocker which realistically no which Planet did a good job of updating their packaging as they should strong point money. for both both have a carry handle really like that the shocker ones don't necessarily ding up or anything, but it's just not as because th this is flozy and bendy. This is very still like, aluminum under yeah, there. Yeah, I haven't seen any of these done so far. No. So you will get a startup manual, a barrel cover branded, nice, love that wrench kit, lube under here, and then you'll have a parts kit here as well in this little tackle box deal. And then on the other side, you get nothing but gun space and room for like a spare trigger. All right, uh, play clips. You're gonna have a like mid portion here, just like on the shocker case. Wrenches, Allen keys, and then over here you're gonna have a full color manual, much superior to the That's, shocker. It is. It's true. And then um, you got a full parts kit, not the little. I like the way this is organized. They could put so much more in here. They could fit so much more in there. I well, like. Not only could they fit it, but they could organize it better. Yes. It, it should be labeled and organized a lot better. I completely agree. I just right. I just like the tackle box. I yep. always like that. And then uh, you've got your barrel cover. Also branded barrel cover, so tie and on that. But barrel cover and lube is <clears throat> underneath it. Yep. Lots of space here. There is more space for barrels. It is uh, a little better. Um, it's just better constructed in general. Yeah. yeah. It's for sure. Packaging. Not even a question. Yeah. Ten out of ten goes to Planet. I'll give them that one. All right, barrel. <laughs> Got the S63 barrel on this. It's a wash at this point, bro. Because uh, you can get inserts of all sizes. They're both insert uh, really, barrels. Yeah, really, it's length. just from a porting perspective. I, didn't you say that's 15 inches? This is 14 and a half. Okay, sorry. I thought those were 15 inches. Honestly, well, so. for me, I actually like a little bit of a shorter barrel. That seems a little aggressive. I didn't know. I didn't notice. It's kind of long. I didn't notice that it was longer until well, Russell said something. Unscrew it, bro. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's put, put them flat on the table. Do the ultimate test. Um, we'll this is a test of your manhood. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so. Shorter. I, so. like, I'm calling it a wash because they're both over 14 inches. They both have all the barrel kit sizes available. Cost-wise, it'd probably balance out. Like, if you really want my preference preference, I'm just going to go with Shocker because I find it more attractive than the S63. But Yeah, I'd agree with that. I don't know. Do, 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 do you have a hard preference or is it a wash? Nah, it's, it's a wash for me. For me, it's a wash. That's one and one. Okay, uh, guys. Feed neck. Uh, they both have a thumb wheel. <clears throat> I I actually prefer it on the, on the Shocker. Because not only is there a thumb wheel, but also you can Allen key if you want to. It, there is yeah. an Allen key that fits in here. Whereas with the Planet Eclipse one, it is only thumb wheel adjustable. I like the Planet one more. They're about the same height. This Planet one actually might be a little bit shorter. Uh, yeah, I could believe that. Um, it is. Yeah. So the Planet one is definitely shorter. And the thumb wheel on the Planet one is much easier to, like, from a tactile perspective of feeling it. It is. As compared to the uh, as compared to the shocker, I just so feel like I, I can get G Tech money here. I like that I can do bigger adjustments with the thumb wheel, but I feel like I can get better micro adjustments and like just a bit tighter with the Allen key that goes in here. So I am not going to agree with Joel on that one. Okay. <clears throat> um, the eyes. 
<laughs> not even a question. I guess I'll give it to the toolless option for the. Not even a question. G Tech 28 Air are all day for sure, without a doubt. I mean, you literally pop right here. And one thing that's nice about the 180R is it is the reflective system. It is not a cable system. So it's way harder to mess it up. <laughs> they, like, they paintball player proofed it. Pretty much. The only way that I've seen people mess it up so far is when you're taking the frame on and off, if you kind of, the two, there's like two, the two eyes that stick up to reflect, if they're not perfectly vertical and they, they bend in or they bend out just slightly, it won't reflect on the eye cover mm. and can cause an eye fault. It's a very simple fix, just literally just bend it back into place. Um, gently, so, bend it back into place. But other than that, I mean, it's it's a full precision. So I love this eye system on the on the. It's probably one of my more favorite eye systems. So just don't be a mongoloid when you're taking it out. And correct, stuff. correct, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I, what fair. I see it most on is when people are switching their mic frame and they're going back and forth. Mm. So okay, mm. uh, battery changing. Coolest. Yeah, uh, trigger. I'm gonna go 100% with the arrow. 100 fuck yes. I <laughs> love the I love the new trigger. On this that is booter. Yeah, for sure. Love for sure. Love you. Um, not even a question. I mean, there's some upgrade options with the 180R. It's not Still a bad trigger. Nice. It's a very standard trigger. Uh, board and programming. I think this is good. I I just I find Shocker programming to be very simple. Um, I, I don't mean, really to be know fair, how to program though, 180R. Yeah, I mean, to be fair though, it's pretty much the same process. Is it really? Because yeah, I know really it's, different, it's different from the 170, but it's not the other Planet guns that are also very easy to, to do. So I'm going to go, go with Planet on this because I think that there's, with the Planet marker, there's more stuff that you can adjust. Okay. Whereas like with that, there's not as much. It's Shocker is a very plug and play. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> ASA. Give it to them, Doc. I, I have no issue with the Shocker one, especially with the new one. This is very grippy. I actually like it. It's fine. It's not but bad. It's people not bad. people like the, the pops. So For sure. I, For sure. Technically, it is quicker, easier with the pops. And I haven't... They're kind of... I'm not going to say fail-proof. Nothing is fail-proof, but I don't see issues with those ASAs, really. Yeah. You service more guns than I do. So. No, I, I'd agree with you. Um, the 180R, I haven't had any ASA problems with the 180R. So, yeah, I'm going to give it to the 180R on that front, too, for sure. Uh, ergonomics. Absolutely the era. 100% the era. Agreed. They Agreed. did massively improve the 180 over the 170. Total credit to them for that, yeah. but era. For sure. <clears throat> um, weight. Do we even really need to weigh it? We will for science. One pound, 13 ounces on the era. Well, also, both guns do have batteries, so just to... One pound, 14 ounces. Hold on, did the thing slide forward or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, it's, it's I think one pound, 14 ounces is probably correct. Oh, of course I slammed it. Yeah, one okay, pound, 14 ounces. Okay, so we got one pound, 14 ounces. <clears throat> One t a one pound fourteen six, so similar weight. Mm, interesting. That's very interesting. <clears throat> okay, uh, so the weight. The, the weight shocker arrow wins. Yes. Maintenance. Um, that's just how to service them and all that. I don't work on PE guns a lot, but I, they're kind of <laughs> not to start the old argument, but like there's not a whole lot of difference with a lot of parts for the two of these, so like. Uh, again, <clears throat> I don't do the teching and the servicing here. Joel does that. So, which do you think is easier to work? I mean, this is basically an amp, but like, for sure. You think it's easier? Yes. Why? Um, one, they don't break down as much. Uh, See, but that's reliability. That's a different category. It's just how hard are these to work on? Oh, from. Um, wash. I mean, once again, general maintenance, like general maintenance, changing your batteries, lubing your bolt, and all that stuff. That. I think that I think that this up and out is easier than. I like the fact that they with the turn knob they that made it more flush. Now. It looks good. I just tried pulling it out and it was kind of difficult for me to pull it out. Sounds like got, you a bitch. I just got big fingers. Okay, <laughs> I got big, fat, big don't, man fingers. Don't fat finger in paintball. Uh, so yeah, for me, I mean, I like this system for bolt removal better, but once again, it's kind of petty. And then as far as and uh, well, I mean, it's, it's a or, funny or, word. Or, yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's a funny like, word. <laughs> between the two of them, we're really trying to dissect here. 
Um, and then, you know, obviously your regulators here, your regulator there. I mean, it's, it's, it's a wash for sure. Sounds good to me. Build quality, reliability. We don't know yet because the era is brand new. The only reliability issue with the previous shockers was the electronics. And I think that has to do with the pandemic and the supply. So I'm holding hope that the era will not have those issues with the electronics. Otherwise, as far as build quality, for me, it's a wash, but Planet Eclipse right now really carries the um, the reputation for just being absolute tanks. So Yeah, I, I think build quality, for me, 100% is gonna go to the Planet Gun because one, we don't know, but the, but some of the amps were having issues with boards and stuff like that. So um, I would say from that perspective, uh, I'm gonna have to go plan it because they're just like, they just function all the day, all day and they just don't, they just don't break down. So for that reason, um, I'm gonna go with, go with plan on that one. I'll secede to that, but mm, I, I'm waiting to see how this does. Yeah, true, true. I mean, they're, so to be fair to Shocker, they were supposed to fix some of the issues. So we'll it's a whole, it's a new board. So we'll see, we'll see. <clears throat> um, and then tech support. I, I disagree to your comment from a different video about Shocker hasn't been to any events. I literally was in the booth with them in 2022. I didn't go to a lot of MSXL in 2023, so I can't say for local events, but <clears throat> I typically see them and Planet at pretty much all of our regional events. They're both always at National, and working with either one of them from the higher up, like if you have to call the manufacturer, they've both been good to work with, at least in my opinion. That's fair. So, That's fair. I can't speak for the 2023 MSXL season because I really didn't have much of a yeah, season. Yeah, and, so. and for everyone that's watching, like, that it doesn't apply to the majority of the people. Yeah. Right? So, honestly, we'd like to hear from you guys and kind of see, like, your regional events. Is Planet showing up? Is Shocker showing up? But I know that, like, MS, they did not support our regional series, which is geographically the closest Theirs series well. to them. Yeah. So I don't know why they wouldn't, but um, yeah, they don't support that system or uh, support that league anymore. Whereas Planet is at everything, everything. Mm -hmm. But Planet does it kind of interesting. So Planet has like Master Tech. They have like every a person region. for each region, right? Because we right. get Eric, is it his name? Or John? No, Nick. Nick, that's what we get Nick. Yeah, Nick Patterson. Uh, so we get, you know, but that's a really good system from a tech support perspective. So you pretty much bank on if it's a decent size event that you're going to have a planet tech there, which is kind of cool. So, um, and then upgradability. Uh, I mean, that's not really fair. No, that's yeah, because this just came out. They did say they'll have a mech frame that has a mech frame for sure. So they're equal on that front. Both uh, auto cocker <clears> thread, <throat> both have mech frames. This has some triggers available available to it. This, this one will have triggers for sure. Like the Deuce yeah. always does triggers and all that, or infamous yeah. or whatever. So yeah, it'll probably be a wash. I don't think any one or the other is going to have like... Yeah, I agree. Okay, so with that said, guys, I think that kind of hits all the categories in-house that we got to talk about. So we're going to go outside and we're going to shoot both of these bad boys and figure out which one we like better. Okay, see you there. Bye. All right, you guys. So now we're out back. We've got the GTEC 180R. We've got the Shocker Era, and we are here to do a little shot quality, efficiency, and all that jazz and kind of talk to you guys about overall value and which one we feel is a superior marker in general. Mm -hmm. Doug's excited about it. He's got a new Shocker platform. <laughs> All right, so uh, Doug, I'm gonna let you do the shooting. I've shot both of these guns plenty enough to know the difference. Okay. Uh, all right. And then we can talk about all this stuff. So I'll go grab the camera. I'll, I'll let the boss grab the camera. Okay, Doug. So you've got the G Tech 180R. Yep. Beautiful Ember Storm. Bam. And we are here to shoot this bad boy. Let it rippity rap. You got a little chrono so action. Oh yeah, that's right, duh. my bad. And guys, we are shooting Defy. Defy professional grade paint, as you guys can see there. Very nice ball. So, coming in at 84, 63, no. 85, 84, 89, there you go. All right, so you guys get the point. It. Okay, Pretty so here we go. I'm gonna leave that live and just set it here because I'm gonna need a little sidey by sidey, but I'm gonna now turn on the Ura. Man, that sounds quieter for sure. Yeah. 300, 301, 292, I'm gonna leave it. Okay. It still feels like it's softer. Isn't it? Yeah. Can I just say, can I just speak to the trigger? <laughs> like this is the trigger the is awesome. Effortless trigger I have seen in a long I time. I agree. 
So, absolute ropes, I'll just say that. I okay, uh, hang on, let me let me get in. I lied, right. I lied, let me get in, all let right. me get in. All right. I'm excited. Get you some. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. <laughs> the 180's still live too. Okay, I'm gonna turn this era off right here real quick. Era. Era. That's how Cleveland Brown would say it. Yeah. All I need to know right there. Get it? Yep. <laughs> okay, so without a doubt, shock quality wise, shocker era wins between the two. Yeah. It's quieter, it's smoother compared to the 180R. They're both pretty responsive guns. Like the DSR Plus is going to be softer, smoother shot wise, mm -hmm. but they're both, out of two guns that are both very responsive, I prefer the era. Yep. Um, efficiency wise, shocker era is going to win. Yep. And then paint handling. They, I mean, they both. It's, yeah. Guys, it's literally like 45 degrees here in Ohio. I'm starting to get cold. <laughs> and we're and shooting we're some shooting. very brittle four-star yeah. paint that's breaking on branches. So Correct, yes. They can both clearly handle very brittle paint. Value. Value? I'll probably still go 180 because it's got the durability. It's got the the brand is known a little bit more for the reliability right now. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm giving hope for this that it's not going to have the electronics issues. but And it's got the tooless features. Um, for me, value, once again, G-Tech 180R, without a doubt. Yeah. It is $100 more. You get better packaging by far. Yeah, the packaging Reliability, is too. build quality, tech support, um, features, all shockers that stuff. Shockers got good tech support. For me, it's just the toollessness and the, and the packaging. Doug loves his shockers, okay? Doug They've been good to me. Shit. Um, but uh, yeah, no, 180R is a great gun. This shoots really freaking good. And from an efficiency standpoint and all that stuff. And that trigger. That trigger ah. is really good. So yeah, uh, both great guns. I'm gonna give it to the 180, but not by a ton. Now yeah. that I've actually been able to shoot this era. So yeah. Are you giving the value to the 180? For sure. Fair enough. For sure. Well, <clears throat> thanks for sticking with us through this one, guys. Let us know if there's any other comparisons you'd like to see. Just you know, put something down in the comments. And uh, when you've decided which one of these that you want to get, you know that one. Use the link in the description. And we'll see you yeah, next yeah. time. <laughs>